Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Yay! I haven't been on for like ever. Um, I hope you guys are doing well inshallah. Um, I am going to do the seamstress or the sewing tag, whichever you'd like to call it. I have the questions here on my phone and I will post them up right here for you guys too. And also I'll leave them in the description box below so that way you can check them out and, and do the video yourself if you'd like to. And also I will link the, the YouTubers or the few videos that I've seen and where what or what maybe decide to actually do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Question one, how old were you when you started sewing? I was, the very first time I actually started sewing, I was, I wanna believe like, I, I believe I was seven or eight. I would use a needle and thread and hand stitch everything. Um, my mom used to give me scraps like old towels and sheets and stuff. And I just kind of do, I wasn't perfect obviously, I was young, you know, I'm still learning, but I would make little outfits for like my Barbie dolls and my baby dolls and stuff. Question two, what what was your first machine? My very first sewing machine, it was, actually I don't know what kind it was, but it had a spinning wheel on it and um, like foot pedals and I paid like three to five bucks for it at a thrift store and I thought it was pretty and at first I got it for decoration in my home and then I was like, let me check it out. So I started checking it out and playing around with it. And I had a neighbor come over and look at it. And she was like, well, it just needs some oiling up and, you know, just some TLC. She goes, and it should work fine, you know. So between her and I, we got it all cleaned up, got it going great. And it worked. And so with that machine, I made so many clothes and so many outfits for my son. I didn't make myself anything because at least with my son at the time, he was much younger and smaller. So the clothes were, you know, itty bitty and it was just easier in the time. Considering the machine I was working with, I didn't want to, oops, I didn't want to chance it. So yeah, it was an old foot, I mean an old machine. And um, surprisingly, it worked. <laughs> Question three, what was your first project? My very first project using a um, uh, mechanical or an electric sewing machine, mechanical electric, whatever, using a sewing machine was a pair of shorts when I was in ninth grade in home economics class. And we had the choice between shorts or an apron. Most of the guys chose the apron while the girls chose the shorts. It didn't have to be that way. That's just how it was. And I was mad because the pattern that our teacher gave us, um, she pretty much picked the size for us and I was like no I'm not that size I need this size and at the you know as in high school I needed a medium she's like oh no you need a small you're a small according to this blah 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 so I was like fine whatever so I made the small because that's what she told me to but then she deducted my grade because I didn't wear them to school I couldn't wear them to school as a final grade when I was completed with it because they didn't fit so in general though that was my very first project was a pair of shorts a home economics class and gosh that was back 1993 <laughs> yeah so it's been a while question four what was the hardest project you made i would have to say this shirt but not this one specifically but I've made one like it and let me see if I can stand it and you can see it's got pockets and snaps this shirts too small I did not make this specific one but see you can it's too tight but um, I can't button it but I wear it as an overlay but it's got pockets and it's got fine detailing and um, I've actually made one a shirt like this a few years ago and I was oh my gosh it was the hardest thing and I don't know why I picked it 
but it was just something that I felt I had to do and to challenge myself and it turned out really really good at the end and let me tell you a seam ripper was my best friend for this project what stores do you buy sewing supplies from I get my sewing supplies from Joann's. I am so loyal to Joann's. I mean, yeah, I'll go to Hobby Lobby um, sometimes when their fabric is on sale. Um, but for the most part, for about 99.8% of the time, I go to Joann's. I love Joann's. Everything about it. It's easy. I, I, They pretty much have everything I'm looking for. I just go in. I know everyone. Um, I pretty much know where everything is, so yeah, I just stick to Joann's. What's one sewing supply that I collect or that you collect? And I would have to say zippers. I always, 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 every time I go to the store, whether I need them or not, I'm picking up zippers. I'm picking up, you know, all different sizes, shapes, or, you know, um, some plastic, some metal. Um, different colors, uh, invisible zippers. Yeah, so I'm just, I collect zipper. Number seven, what are your two favorite sewing projects? My two favorite sewing projects would have to be the stockings that I did for my Oma and my mom and stuff. And then another project that I did was when I made a um, gift basket. I made the basket. I made um, the cloth diapers, the burping cloths, the um, like the onesie jacket that zips up for the baby, a pillow, a blanket. I made a big old kit. A baby stuff for a friend of mine because she was having a baby so yeah what is your favorite sewing YouTube channel oh I really don't have a specific favorite sewing YouTube channel I like a lot of youtubers that sew. Um, Melanie Ham um, I like her videos Nadira 037 I love her videos um American hijab here on YouTube. She did some sewing videos in the past. She hasn't done any for a long time, but they're still really good and simple videos that are easy to follow. I love going back and re-watching those. Um who else? Uh Professor per, per, Professor Pincushion. I like their, her videos. Yeah, so I'll link all those in the description box for you guys. But I don't have just one specifically. <laughs> if you had to choose, which one would you want? A bucket full of fabric or a sewing machine? Honestly, I have a bucket full of fabric and oh my gosh, I would love to have it, but my sewing <laughs> machine I've had it for a while now and I put that bad boy to use and it's about ready to go kaput on me but she's hanging in there so I would have to say between the two I would definitely have to say mm, probably a sewing machine if you got to meet one sewer who would it be I honestly couldn't answer that I hmm I would have to say Nadir037. Does sewing run in your family? Sewing itself does not run in our family as far as using a sewing machine and crafting clothes and stuff. But my grandmother crochet my great grandmother crocheted, my Auntie Kim crocheted, my I think my Auntie Karen crochets all on my mom's side of the family. Um, my mom, she sews, she doesn't sew, sew like what I do, but she does sew. She has a sewing machine and, um, she does little odds and ends on it. So actually I'm going to have to say, yeah, I'll just go ahead and say, yeah, that sewing does run in the family. And number 12, 
in total how long have you been sewing been sewing a total between hand or machine a total of 32 years so wow now that i think of it, that's a very long time so anyways i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions comments leave them down below and until my next video next week, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.